Hello, I'm Dr. Struby. I'm a chiropractic physician in Pinellas Park, Florida. As you are all aware, we are experiencing a pandemic and that creates potential problems for everyone. I would assume that most people are going to be practicing safe distancing and washing their hands and, and doing all the things that we are constantly being reminded of to do. I also wanted to throw in a few of my own that might be helpful. We all know that anyone who is coughing or sneezing, we want to kind of stay away from because that creates an aerosol and we could inhale that and then become infected. Recently, they have begun to de determine that uh, just speaking creates tiny droplets that go into the air. So you can be standing six feet away from someone and they're just talking to you. If they are infected, you can potentially become infected by just that. So it may be that we need to have more than six feet between us, especially if we're interacting with someone. Now, if you were to be out walking the dogs and run into a neighbor and chat with them for a couple of minutes, outdoors you're a little bit safer because there's a breeze. And uh, what I would suggest is if you're outdoors and talking with someone, try to position yourself so that you're upwind from them. In other words, the wind is at your back. So if they're speaking and creating tiny droplets, those are just gonna be blown behind them and not towards you. That's my hot tip for the day. Now, other things, um, you know, we're not supposed to touch our face with our hands. And that makes good sense because our hands are what come in contact with anything that might potentially be uh, contaminated. However, if you just have to scratch your nose and you're not sure how clean your hands are, don't scratch it with your hand. Try the back of your wrist or your forearm. Those areas are much less likely to be contaminated and you get to scratch your nose. Uh, little inconsequential things like mail delivery. The mailman comes, he puts the mail in the box. Normally we go out and get it as soon as we come home or happen to pass the mailbox. Leave it sit there overnight until the next day and then grab it before the next mail comes. That way it's had a chance to decontaminate if it is contaminated. Almost assuredly whatever is in your mailbox is going to be paper products. So it's, the virus should not last too long on those. And uh, that's a, just another little helpful thing that, that might make a difference for some people. Also, with rubber gloves, protective gloves, those are designed to protect the person wearing them. Now, if you have gloves on and you have touched something that is contaminated, now your gloves are contaminated. As long as they don't touch you, you're fine. But you get your, your child a glass of water and you use the gloved hand to give it to them, well, you've now contaminated the glass. So just so that you're aware, the gloves are for your protection, not those around you. And if you're using gloves to pick up items that might potentially be contaminated, you'll be protecting yourself, but those items are still contaminated. And if they are contaminated, your gloves are contaminated. So you need to be careful about how you use them. You also need to be careful of how you dispose of them. People have been complaining about parking lots around Walmarts and supermarket stores that are littered with discarded gloves and discarded masks. That is so irresponsible. If you are using gloves, if you are using a mask, dispose of them properly so that you don't put others at risk by ditching it in the parking lot. Just not a good idea. One other thing I would like to mention, if you have to go out, you have to go to the grocery store, you have to go get gas, whatever the case may be, try carrying one of those little disposable uh, hand sanitizers with you. So after you've picked up the gas pump or shopped in the store, before you try to get in your car, 
you disinfect your hands then. That way when you open the car door you're now not infecting the car handle or the button to press to start your car or your steering wheel. It's just an easy thing to do and it's one more thing you can do to try and help keep yourself safe. So I hope some of these have been a little helpful for folks. I sincerely hope you are all being careful. I wish you all the best and I want everyone to be kind to everyone else. And I mean everyone else. Okay, thanks.